Hello, welcome back to Fractos, the uh, Fracturated Ocelot, or whatever it stands for. Fractal Oscillator or something, I don't know. It's a strange name for a strange game. So we're here in the blue room. We've just uh, completed a bunch of things, unlocked a bunch of uh, base modules for our synth or something. And we're left with this control panel here. And, uh, I don't know what this does. Oh, that's, that seems to be cycling through different patterns. Oh, I see there's a, uh, you can see the, uh, uh, these little lines pumping up there. These are all different, uh, preset. Well, I can choose, I guess, different patterns for different... Yeah. Well, I guess there's some meaning to them. Let's turn them off. Does this do these do anything? No, these don't do anything at all. Alright, well, let's start them on, I don't know, pattern one, two, three... Oh, see what happens. Okay, nothing. Three, four. Oh, well, there's only four patterns. Right, so somehow I'm supposed to get these. Significance to them, or do I just put them all on in some pattern or other? I'm not getting any feedback except these lighting up. I'm not sure what we're expecting to get more. Let's take a little pattern one for now and see if we get any different feedback at any point. I guess I was going to some central hub or something. But this is a little bit of a boring pattern we've got on here, so let's put on let's make it a little more different, a little more interesting. see another thing here that <clears throat> I don't know what that indicates but it's only on it's exactly what it was before never mind let's follow the big glowy thing down here
all this. We've already been here, right? Yeah, we've turned on all the stuff. Alright. Uh, so that all seems unrelated, I guess. I don't know. Where's the way down? Here we are. But look, we can stand in the music and it's hollow. So, um, I think that's everything in the blue zone, at least active. I don't know whether it's supposed to be differently active. But if we look here. I don't know, we, well, we still have the concentric circles is not lit up, that's the main area we were just were at. So we've not solved that. Meanwhile the triangle is... We, we did power up the triangle but we didn't unlock its fast travel station. So all of them except the center are lit up, which means the uh, sequence of patterns I was putting in there does not match what it should be control this. Alright. I also want to find the triangle because it kind of annoys me that um, we haven't found the fast travel but I just don't know where to go. I don't know how you find your way around except randomly by chance. It's not like there's signposts everywhere. Let go up here. Okay. So where is blue? Where does blue triangle live? We get much more wireframe spheres. A lake of blue. It's got a pathway up the side of the cliff there. It does look like it. Oh, we were standing up above this place looking down a while back. So now I can stand closer to it. What's this fast travel spot? That's not unlocked. That's another concentric circles. That's the, like a yellow of right? Yeah. Yeah, that's a yellow hub. Okay. Well, at least we know we can get to the yellow hub easily. But it's not where I'm looking for. I'm looking for blue triangle. I won't spend too long looking for it, but I'm just a cursory look around. Where? Oh, this is all this is all yellow, right? Yeah. Oh no, this is the this is the center. This is the core. Yellow green. Yeah. Right. So blue stuff is all this way. Let's follow the path back to blue and just see what fast travel stations we come across, because we clearly found the blue triangle location, just not as fast travel. So that's blue line, number one. So they go look at the what, line, triangle, pentagon, what other shapes are there? As line, triangle, oh, okay, line, inverted V, so that's, the line must be 1, the V is 2, the triangle is 3, diamond is 4, and pentagon is 5, and then the circle is the hub. That kind of makes sense. Once you get to three lines, you can start using kind of uh, regular polygons, but uh, there is no polygon with just two sides or one side unfortunately for uh, people who wish to use them to symbolize things. All right, here's number two, yeah. So, is there a pathway up there? No, not from here. All right, so what's this little uh, thing here symbolize? What's well, lit up on number three? I don't know what it means. Uh, I have no clue. 
I was just thinking maybe it's something like in the patterns from the central hub we have to activate this one third, but, but I don't know. I don't know. That doesn't make sense because we've got four patterns in the central hub. So it's not like we're acting mu activating much. So this should go through to section three, right? Well, let's go through to the uh, to the sequence here, but that's an active and the doors are open. Shit through here. No, this is the this is the hub. Okay, so then we have the different rooms coming off here. So we have the red room and the pink room. And I think the red room was the first one that was available. Can I see anything down there that indicates uh, possible triangleness? Not really. Let's quickly check the red path here and see if that is the one that I was looking for. Cave up there. Maybe I'll have a look on the way back to see where that goes. Probably goes nowhere, but uh, uh, this is number four. All right, that's not the one I want. That's not the triangle. What's down? What's in this cave? I'm intrigued. It's dark, it's quiet. It goes. An area filled with, well, to going into the pig zone with uh, weird tree roots or something. Maybe it's not the pig zone, but uh, hmm. I don't know. Maybe that way connects to the pink zone because this looks like it just goes back to the blue hub, right? Yeah, blue hub. All right, we want that door over there. Oh, I see. I can't. I can't get across there, can we? Can I? I can just almost died. Let's go here. Surely this is a blue triangle then. Nope, this is. Oh, uh, wait. Yeah. Triangle. There's, there's the fast travel. Fast travel station we didn't actually walk up to un and unlock. Because it's on the other side. Alright. There we are. Oh, well, we might as well use it to get back, right? It's slightly faster than walking. So let's go to the center blue hub and figure out, if we can, what the pattern we need from it is. Now I'm recording this 60 frames per second, but I can see right now that this is actually dropping frames in the rendering, which is uh, unfortunate. I don't know what that is. There's very few settings available on the game, so beyond, I mean, it wouldn't even let me pick which screen to render on. So it's really, oh, uh, you know, full screen or not. That was about it. I think I could have tweaked the resolution. Again, it's not a complicated game, it's just perhaps not running at the speed it should. Alright, so we need to we need a different pattern here, right? Because this is clearly not we haven't finished, like something should happen when we get the red pattern. And we weren't getting anything happening. So let's switch all these off. Eight, we've got four patterns and eight slots. I'm gonna put pattern two on at the start, see what see if anything happens. Oh wait. That lit up as my cursor was on it. Interesting. 
interesting. We put them all onto pattern one. Weird, weird controls. Oh. Aha. Uh So these are controls, these aren't uh, relevant to, well, those aren't telling us that we're doing the pattern right or wrong, they're just letting us, it's just the sound here. There's still clearly something we need to do with this. Some uh, some order that these must be in. We're not getting right. We have stations two, th uh, two, three, four, and five controls from. We have these four patterns. We have. So let's run quickly back to the nearest one of those. Turn off the controls. Run back to the nearest one of those, see what sound it's making, see if it sounds like any of those patterns. Should be quick enough to prove or disprove. So is that uh, this way? This is number five, right? No, not you. To. Let's, let's get back on to the control panel and find out. <clears throat> Still doesn't really explain to me why we have, even if this is true, they kind of line up with those. Doesn't explain to me why we have four different patterns and eight slots and how those are meant to be arranged. So here, yeah, starting this tunnel here, that was that, right? Well, that's pattern number four, anyway. Yeah. Okay, so the Pentagon's doing that. Let's just put it on pattern number four, on slot number four. Um, 
Uh, let's just check what uh, the other one's doing. They're probably it's probably the case that pattern one is coming from uh, from station the first station, which is number two here, and uh, similar. Where are we going? So this one's going to be the uh, wait. Uh, I forget. I forget which one's number one. Take us up to the controls. Oh, hang on, hang on, hang on, hang on. What do I see here? Pattern number one. Wait, those are not the same patterns we got. Those are the first one might be. Oh no, they're they're upside down. Um Alright, left to right then we have da 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 and da 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 all right, let's. I think there's just one, two, three, four in terms of the complexity of them. But uh, when can I get up here? Can I? Is there a shortcut? Uh, I have to go all the way around. Well, it's possible that that's a guide in some some way to what we need to do. So. Or maybe that is just literally the control panel that hasn't animated into position yet. I don't know. We'll find out in a second. But it's definitely the same four patterns that we had available to us. Or maybe they're all just lit up to show that we've got all four patterns available now, and not a guide to how we play them. So, oh yeah, they're just down there. All right. So station two was uh, wrong button. That one. Station three was must be that one, right? Mm. And considering the signs point outwards, it's probably not meant for us to interpret from here. But what are we supposed to do? None of this really makes any kind of sense. I'm just poking at things and hoping to see something light up or flash or otherwise indicate that I'm doing what the game wants me to do, but the game is not communicating a single thing about what I want me to do or how I'm supposed to do it or anything like that. It's really quite annoying. When we get it right, I'm sure I can see some, you know, probably going to go flying up to the sky or something or something's going on activate in the middle, but I am at a loss. So, I guess I'm going to come back here later. Rather than spend tons of time at this, I might actually go see if any people have any hints as to what we're doing wrong. And, uh, oh, we did unlock the green hub there. So let's go back to the pink zone, where I was completely confused before, maybe this morning with a fresh head, I will make better sense of it. This is, this is, uh, dropping quite a few frames now. Wasn't yesterday. It's not like uh, OBS is not chewing up much uh, CPU, so it should be fine. I'm gonna assume that's uh, maybe that's right. I don't know. I may stop the 60 frames per uh, second recording after this and go back to 30. Anyway, 
because the game's not running at smooth 60, there's no point recording at 60. So where's the way up? Oh yeah, that's the left. Upstairs, thank you. So here we had activated these uh, various sources of sound and that gave us the lift. And then there were these two things here. Can I get up? Uh, why is your navigation so weird? But... Make me walk the long way around. Thanks. Thanks. Alright. So this one, I'm just going to turn it off again. Even though I turn it all off, it is still all lit up. So I'm pretty sure... I mean, that's the hint it gives us there. I don't know, I mean, there's plenty of other ways we could do it now. But I think because it's all lit up solidly there, that it is... that we got that one right. So the question is, what was this one wanting? This one I couldn't make sense of. Like, the feedback gave me was, things are lighting up and flashing. This pink is growing down to the middle and it's stopping. Oh, the first... wait, where's that? Sequencer unlocked and lead modulation one unlocked. Something unlocked over here. Oh, well, that was easier than I, uh, I don't know why I didn't hit on that last time. Well, let's continue the pink firm. I guess. Maybe. Where am I going? What have we got here? Uh, where's the pink hub? But that's not where we're trying to get, I guess we're aiming to find pink number two, the inverted V. Uh, there's a ramp there. As pretty as this world is, if you're actually trying to get somewhere, it's rather frustrating. What do we got here? Anything? Yes. Is there a fast travel station that I'm missing? Nearby. Not on this side. Let's just run around the outside just to check for... That looks like a fast travel there. Yeah, that, that's it. This is definitely pink number two. Magenta number two, glowy, pink, whatever you want to call it. Let me out. Yeah, that's active. And up the ramp here, I guess. Let us make more sounds. Right, we have two glowy green spots and a pink spot, and the only thing we can interact with are these. What does that do? I don't understand. Oh, it's like a D-pad. So if we get the green, greenish block in the pink square, we get a bridge. Okay. So I don't quite see the logic there, but I'm guessing it has a logic of its own. Alright, let's get this one to the same, get the yellow square into the pink square. No, it won't go. Uh, what? Why doesn't it want to go? I won't go into those. 
Oh, it's blocked off, of course. Uh, Alright, what do we have over here? Nothing! I can't go that way. Whoops. Maybe that bridge was not correct then. Maybe we don't need that bridge just yet. Let me... Let me move the green square into the green spot. Because I can't get to the other station up there without the, that bridge. So I don't know why we need that bridge, but uh, we have it. And now that's not blocked off. Nor is that. Alright, that's giving us a bridge as well. But we don't have a bridge across to there, so we can't get to the third control station. bridge to the top, but we're missing a bridge to the middle. We need to get there to the blue, blue bit. Does this do it? Oh, well, yes, because we can stand on those blocks. Okay, so we can get across. From here, we can move this blue block into, I don't know, that. This is a base, but I uh, don't know what else it does. Once again, I'm just kind of poking things to see what happens. There's no real plan that I have. Um, what do we do up here? I see anything to map about with. No, we something missing. We can get up here, but it's not, not what it wants yet. What does it want? I don't know. We definitely need a block here or we can't get across. Maybe there's no reason to get across except just to get that there, so maybe we don't need to come back here. But if we don't need to come back here, what's this bridge for? Oh, I don't know, this is all confusing. Maybe we don't need that bridge. No, we do need that bridge or we can't get to that section. Without that bridge, we can't get across to the middle. So we've got a blue cube, we've got a yellow cube, we've got a green cube. We have two green boxes. Well, they're all green boxes, aren't they? Except that's a pink box. So it's not like there's cube colours and things match up. So we can bring one of them here. the other side. We can fill up both green boxes and leave the pink empty, but then if the pink is empty we don't get our bridge. Maybe we don't need the bridge now. Okay. But why is there even a bridge to the upstairs if we don't need to go there? I don't know, but we've got a lift. Alright. Fill up the three green boxes in the pink zone. That makes, I don't know, not much sense to me, but it works. Let's go upstairs. Now that we've got uh, all the stuff piping upstairs. And it looks like we've got a couple more of these mystical sequences. Where's... Yeah. Where's... Walk around until the bridge unfolds so, so you can go ahead without any indication of where the bridge is going to be. Oh well. As you can tell, I'm not really a fan of uh, opaque puzzle things where you just have to poke and see what happens and then do lots more poking. It's, uh, but it's fine. So, they're not giving us any clues this time as to what the pattern should be. Definitely not that, right? It's getting somewhere, but it's not it. Seems to drop 
about around there, right? What if I do that? No. Can I get both of these lit up at the same time? No, I absolutely need three... Three of this top track in a row, or it doesn't... Or it doesn't hit. Yeah. Then what? If I repeat it, it doesn't actually go any further. It's, it just still just goes as far as it went, so that's not helping. Six more spots to fill. Well, that's a four long, a pattern of four things. What if I just... on this right hand one, or the top one, is uh, carrying it through. channels now. Once more no clues, so let's just start poking. What is what are we getting here? And we got what? Uh total of one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten things we can turn on. Okay, 
this channel, what's the public channel? Alright, they all seem to have similar responses, so... Alright, what does this do? different sustain let's just so if we hit channel one there where does it turn off it turns off here so that should keep channel one on right nope there okay if we start channel two here can we turn channel two back on here nope drops out all right channel three Set a little more on the pattern, I think. So that should have given us way forward or something. That's these two sequences. Fast travel station since it's here there. Um, well, if I can get to it. Maybe I can't. Maybe I can't. Here, here we go. Took the long way around. Oh, that's number three fast travel. Alright, so we can get down to number three now. Alright, let's do number three. Is that number two complete? It, both the things are active and it's got its shiny beam of power up in the sky. Let's look. Number two is lit up underneath, so yeah, number two is it's done. So how do we get up here? This is clearly this uh, dome is where number three is. Where's the way in? Hiding. It doesn't want us to activate it. Well, surely there's a way in somewhere. All right, all the way around here. Thanks for making me walk. Right, more cubes to move into places. So we have... How many cubes do we have? We've got one cube on the bottom floor and... Surely, yeah, two cubes on the top floor. One's already in the green square, but obviously probably can't stay there. Probably needs to move to the other green square. So that this one can come into that. And the bottom floor is going to give us ramps through these things. So let's get some ramps and move them. The top cubes into position. Where does this take us? Right, the green. Alright, oh, it's gonna let us control the green square. That's why it's green. Okay. So we can't get the green square. We need to move the blue square. So let's let's change this. So you go over here. All right, it gives us. That should take us to the blue control station. I'm kind of understanding the way this puzzle is set up now. Oh. Alright, the green one's in the wrong place now. We need the green one. Wait, the green one... Yeah, we need to move the green one back. There. Alright. So, alright, let's go back to there. Back to the green control station and we'll stick it here so we can walk over the green cube. So one thing, one of the settings this game has is always run, and that's what I've got on right now. 
Otherwise, you move at a really slow walking place pace, which, with given the amount of movement you have to do, it's going to be frustrating. All right, we'll be able to walk over that now. Let's turn on the other bridge. And let's go put the blue square up here. It's kind of funny, because despite uh, it being a musical game, all these puzzles are really visual so far. Not a single puzzle has really been about music or sound or anything. They've all been about move, moving visual things around. Alright. You got there. And you go there. And there's our lift. Another couple of uh, sequences, I guess. One. Only one? I guess only one. Not seeing more than one. Alright. What do you got for us? Three tracks. Let's poke. Ah. Let's just do the simplest thing we can do. Alright. So, number three has the shortest sustain. So we're going to have to keep number three going a lot. Oops. Always the wrong button. Start at the top. Where do we? Where do I want to go? I just. I can see light blue and dark blue and yellow and green and pink control stations. There's lots of cubes now to move around. Let's have a look at what cubes we've got. On the ground we have the two blue cubes. We have two places for them to go, and we have three bridge controls. And none of those places I have to go are places we walk over them. Alright. I hear we control the yellow cube up there. Alright, so. There's the light blue controls. Where's the dark blue? Dark blue's up there. Oh, this is interesting. So we're going to need bridges to get to the blue controls. But the bridge controls are on the bottom floor. So it's gonna be, yeah, we're gonna have to put this one in the bridge control here. All right. And I think I can walk around to green. Maybe. Ah, uh, no, I can't. All right. So where's that? Where does the bridge connect to? The next floor. I can't even get to the next floor. All right. You go there, and I'll walk across the yellow cube to get to the green cube. The green controls. From here, we can move the green cube to two different bridge spots. What does that one do? Well, let's just get up to light blue. Let's. Why not? Let's go there. See what we can do with light blue. So 
here we can, yeah, uh, yeah, we can move light blue into the other bridge control, so we can get to the dark blue. Oh wait, now yellow is, no, there's a path, I think that's right. So we should be able to get there, oh no, it's not all right. Boo, we need a cube up here. Who don't we need just now? What cube is, what cube is redundant? Yellow is redundant, but we can't get back from yellow if yellow isn't there. Uh, how do we solve this? We can't get... We have the ramp up to the dark blue controls, but we just can't get to it because there's a, a gap. And yellow is the only one that can fill that gap. Isn't it? Well, yellow certainly can. Yellow moves in this plane and can sit up there. But I guess blue could also go there. Alright, I need to swap yellow and blue around. I need to swap yellow and blue around. Alright, take blue away. Uh, well, let's just move it there so I can plan it. How do, oh dear, how am I going to do this though? If I move yellow away from there, I can't get back here. Where's green? What's green doing for us? What's green doing for us? Green is sitting... Oh wait, green can fill that spot. So green is it there, that's... No, that's not the spot we need, that's too low. That was the spot I needed. But then I don't have the bridge to blue controls. Ah, uh, dear. Yellow then. Yellow sits there, we get the bridge. No, that's the wrong bridge. So yellow goes there. But that's no good. Oh wait, that still lets us get to green. What's green doing for us? Giving us controls to the light blue. I don't know, maybe this is. I don't really. I've lost track of what I'm trying to achieve, or at least how I'm trying to achieve it, the combinations of things. Uh, Alright. Okay, so that is now the controls. access to the controls for dark blue. Can we get there? No, we can't get there because we can't get up. So can I get to green controls? Can I move green without losing a bridge? No, I lose a bridge. But I need to go up. Um, but I need something in that corner. But maybe I don't need that bridge anymore. So if I move green to there. And... Put yellow back on. No, it won't go there. A yellow won't even go here. Green can go here. I'm confused. I'm very confused. I don't think we need this bridge, right? Once we're up here, we don't need that bridge. So as long as we don't need to go back to yellow. So let's give, like, green gives us access to light blue. And then we can move light blue, because we don't need... Light blue is the one giving us that bridge, I think. So maybe I can move light blue somewhere else useful. Light blue can go across... Well... well I mean, light blue can sit there, except it's occupied already, so... Wait, what? Oh, light blue. No, no, light blue is giving us the bridge to dark blue. That's the... Okay. That's the bridge to dark blue. What bridge is that one, then? Where's green? Let's put, let's put light blue back there for the moment. What's green doing for us? Green, what's, what are you doing there? You're the, that's the bridge to light blue. Okay, then yellow must be in the wrong, in the one we don't need. Uh, 
Okay, so yellow is in the bridge across that takes us across to green controllers. And the alternative, if we don't have that bridge, is to cross here. So I need to move blue, light blue here so I can reuse yellow. Okay, let's do that. Well, let's do that. Again, not a musical puzzle on the slightest, but uh, a uh, uh, almost a soccer barn, really, but uh, without the undo pushing blocks into spaces. Use it there so I can walk on you. And now that means yellow does not need to be in that corner. So yellow is free to go. Oh, well, yellow can actually sit and give us access to the other bridge. All right. No, it can't. Yellow can't. Ah, uh, yellow can't get there now. Uh, Alright, let's do that again. Let's do that differently. Go all the way around. Alright. Uh, so yellow moves in that plane, blue moves in this plane, which means blue right now is getting in the way of yellow. That's a nuisance. Because I move blue here, just so I now I'll be able to move yellow all the way across to that spot. But when I do that, the bridge that, that right now blue is sitting under, the bridge, this bridge here will be gone. And when that bridge is gone, I can't get across to, you know, from the yellow controls back to the green controls. Unless something's here. If the blue's there, I can't get yellow to the other side. If blue is not there, I can get yellow to the other side, but I can't walk across. And I can move yellow there, so I can walk across yellow. But then that's, that doesn't help. It doesn't help at all. Right, let's move. Blue can also sit in the one that green is in, right? Yeah, so what's, what can we do with green just now? But I think green is giving us access to blue. That's the blue one, yeah? Yeah. So we can't even get to the light blue if green's not there. Green can sit there. All right. Uh, wait, no. So that's a hollow. That's a hollow. Wait, not the controls. That's a hollow square. So green can't actually go there. Can't get into the hollow squares. So the only bridge that green gives us is the bridge to light blue. So green has got to sit there, surely. Otherwise, we'll never reach light blue. Dark blue can get there, but when no idea the dark blue controls. So that leaves. What do we do with yellow and light blue? I just don't, I'm not seeing a solution just now that gets us where we need to be. I need something. Right, that gives us the ramp up to the dark blue controls, but we need more than just the bridge. We need a cube sitting, well, it's gotta be here. Yellow can go up one notch. But I can't do that, because I can... Uh, wait, maybe, 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 maybe. All right, if I push blue back, where's yellow controls? And I put yellow up. Yeah, we lost that bridge, but I don't need that bridge now. Blue is there. Okay, so walk across blue. All right, that's the solution I was looking for. Walk across blue. Green's where it needs to be. We can get back up to the light blue controls. Then I can push light blue into the position. So yellow is where we're going to need it to be to get to dark blue. And now we'll open up the bridge, and we should be able to get to the dark blue controls. Finally. Then it's a matter of moving them all into their green boxes and uh, coming down. Now this is gonna be this is gonna be the green box for the yellow cube because it's the only one that moves in that plane. That one there is for the green cube because it moves in that plane, I think. And that must be dark blue. Yeah, because uh, light blue moves. Light blue moves in a two-dimensional plane, uh, aligned with the floor, so the dark blue has to go up here. Alright. Okay, now, light blue. So light blue has to come to this one. Green to that one. 
And finally, yellow. Up and around here. Let's go upstairs. Once again, only one sequencer. And I'm going around aimlessly trying to find where the stairs or the ramps open up. Okay. Ooh, five tracks. Let's just start with the... Alright, none of them actually activate with a single, bo no, single pulse. pulses we need. So two pulses unlocks that one, but it doesn't sustain for long. That's got a long sustain, okay. That's got similar sustain. Though. That's short. Oops. Getting somewhere. But not anywhere near enough. Because what's dropping out first? Number three is dropping out first, right? Which is this one, right? Yeah. If we fire that one up again. So now losing three and one and two. remember unlocking this fast travel must be oh yeah when we're on the way here so oh there isn't a pink pentagon there's just the pink hub uh yeah pink only has four shapes so blue had five shapes and pink and yellow only have four and a hub so right so which is the way to the pink hub Let's try see if I can use the lift again. Let's see, let's see if I can see anything from upstairs. Let's oh, controls. There we are. Very slow lift. It's alright. if from upstairs if we can see where the pink hub is going to be. So far it seems that when you're, you know, when you reach the second stage that's where you need to be to proceed. And that's not the pink hub, that's one of the earlier ones we activated. Something down there, but it doesn't look like a hub. This big circle is interesting, but not really providing a direction to go in. Um, hmm. I'm gonna go see what this thing is down here. Just 
just out of curiosity. It's probably not the way I need to go, but... Uh, what is it? It is... Oh. It has some controls, but uh, it is not anything that I can interact with yet, so maybe that comes later. Alright. Interesting, but not what I need. I guess I'm walking around till I find the pink cub. Because it certainly doesn't appear to be up there. Well, I guess maybe these uh, lines of energy or whatever that we've activated are pointing towards it. Which suggests it's, yeah, that must be, the pink hub must be over there. Because all of these are pointing that way. So what's the quickest way there? Can I get around here? Probably not. No. Well, let's go back to pink number one. Let's grab a fast travel. At the very least, as we're flying through the air, we might be able to spot where it is we need to uh, go to. So, pink number one, please. So, the hub is there. Um, this is a very... Circuitous route. Right, that's the pink hub. Oh no, is that the central hub? That's not the pink hub, that's, a, that's the central hub for the whole world. I was following these uh, kind of energy beams from the pink ones, hoping they would point to the pink hub, but they appear to be pointing towards the center. Right, all right, that was a uh, misdirection then. However, it's been an hour, um, so I'm going to cut this episode here. Stop again uh, for a quick break to make a make a cup, uh, stretch my legs, you know, all the all the usual. And when I come back, I shall resume my search for the pink hub. Thanks for watching. I'll see you here for the next episode.